my suits dried out. I got my first Gatorade uh, bath, but it was water, thank goodness. So now I know what the brother-in-laws feel like when those things come. But uh, the first thing to me, and again, it, we've never taken anything for granted here. And, and to look out Tuesday and see how many fans were waiting outside. and they, or I, I shouldn't say, I knew they were outside Tuesday. I was going recruiting. To see them Wednesday and uh, to see that passion and then to see it all today and see the people lined up from early this morning on through the afternoon and, and then to just hear this crowd. This is one of the most shared moments that I've ever been a part of, maybe the most shared moment, where you want to share it with everybody that's been a part of this program uh, long before we got here the ones that have, that have joined in in the sense of becoming fans over a period of time. But, but th this is the epitome, I think, of, of what Hoosier Nation is all about. And, and, and the fans and everybody that supports this program from close and far, you know, young and old, they, they deserve it because it, it's, it's one of those moments that everybody's going to remember. Uh, as far as the game, it was not a picture-perfect game. Uh, we were doing some very good things. We got up in the second half, and uh, then we did not play as well. And, 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 and some of it was them, some of it was us. Uh, you, you, you have to close a team like Kentucky out. You have to continue to be really good on both ends of the floor. So it was not a textbook way to close a game, but it really came down to who had the ball last. And, and our guys never wavered throughout the game. Even when we had the lead and we started to give it up, they never wavered. Our coaches did a phenomenal job of continuing to preach belief and, and toughness uh, to the players inside of the huddles. They talk to each other well. The, the, the biggest concern I had on the day with, with, with such an energy in the crowd was that they weren't going to hear me a lot. They had to hear each other. There had to be great echoes uh, and, and because there's no way I was going to get two or three, four guys' attention. If I got one, they had to make sure that they echo it. For the most part, they did. So it, it's, a, it, it's a great moment for us. It's a great victory because it's just such an outstanding team. And a team that is just, uh, as you can see it, the explosiveness, the athleticism, the skill level, the coaching, it, it, it's top notch. And to get a win like that is huge. And to have it be at home where our fans had so much to do with it is the biggest part of the day. So for me. Well, it goes before that, about the three and a half minute mark, we put Verdell back in. I think it was. I said, you really need to be a senior leader now because we needed to get settled down. And the rest of the time, he really did a great job of that. And at the, end of the, at the end, with that timeout on the free throw situation, we knew they had fouls to give. So we, we weren't going with our conventional five-second full-court play because it would bring too many people up. And we, didn't, we, we, we weren't going to be able to win the game if we did that. So we wanted to break long and, uh, and but get Verdell the ball if we didn't hit anybody long. They didn't come up with us, so they continued to break. Verdell got the ball made a play at midcourt, had his eyes on the rim, and uh, had the presence of mind because, because in a situation like that, you want to have four spots filled when you're driving the ball. And Christian did a phenomenal job of, 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 of being in the, in the backcourt, finding the open gap, and Verdell did a tremendous job of finding him. And Christian shot literally uh, the, the, the one vivid image to me in, in my mind memory is, is how picture perfect that shot was. He stayed in his shot. He didn't fade. He didn't leg kick. It was a picture perfect form. And, uh, you know, I'm so happy for him. I'm so happy for both of them because they, 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 they've improved leaps and bounds and they've been here through a lot. And for those two to connect on a, on a game winning play like that, that's a big time moment. Can you describe the I want to make sure it counted because I saw the, the referees uh, running over to the monitor. So I, I wanted, to, sh I wanted to, to hold an excitement there. Talk to John. Shook hands with a couple of guys and, and just wanted to wait. And, and then when you could see on the clock that, that it, was, it was off and through before the, the red light came on, that's, you know, take a moment to raise the hands. And then I just kind of really wanted to find my family and my wife. I don't know about that. Last year, last year we had a great moment when we beat Illinois. So... I, I, our, our fans deserve that. They deserve to storm the court. They deserve to stand on chairs and tables and, and be excited. They do, and our players deserve it. It, it. It's. I told the team before the game, I don't think it was anything profound. This team, these young men have endured a lot. And, and to have an opportunity like this today in front of them, 
I had 100% confidence that they would that they would do everything to 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 max it out, and they did, and they did. Uh, no, I mean, in the sense of, it, it just really proud of him. We had a lot of people in there and, uh, uh, just really talked about individuals a little bit, but, but it was, it was kind of a blur. I was, I was freezing cause I got doused. I got held down and there was no way I was getting away from Janae Jackson. So they had it planned, but it's cool, you know, so good. Well, I never put myself in another coach's uh, position right there. It looked like they tried. But, but the screen at midcourt was good, and, and, and Verdell just did a great job of, of putting a burst out there. And, and uh, I thought he was going to take it, and, and uh, I would have been okay with it because he was going left, and he's an excellent pull-up shooter. But he got cut off, and, and, and Christian was in an open spot. And like I said, when, you, when you're running end-of-game situations, because, again, it, we, we anticipated we wanted to try to sneak a long pass in there where we, either we, we could get the long pass and have a chance to win the game or we'd get held on the cut. And they didn't come up and bite, so we just ran. And uh, for Verdell to, to pivot and make that pass, that, that is the biggest assist he has had at Indiana. And as good as Christian's playing, the thing I'm – there was, it was just – I can't describe enough how that was just a perfectly fundamentally formed shot that he's worked so hard to become a better shooter, and, and, and he made it. But everybody did their job. You know, Vic ran long, and, and uh, Cody, Jordan, everybody did their job. And, and – uh, but the bottom line in something like that is there was belief, but yet they were able to execute under pressure. And, and it turned out to be a bit of a broken play because we didn't hit long, but when everybody fills their spots, good things can happen. Oh, I don't think there's any question. But, but I think, I, think uh, I could say going back to the Indiana State scrimmage has helped these guys. I mean, there, everything – is, is a very good experience for them, whether it's a plus or whether it's a minus in the way that they learn from it. And, and their, week, their week of concentration and focus was, was high, high level. And if anything, I thought – I didn't even think we were over-anxious to play. I mean, they were very mature, and I think Coach Buckley said it the best. I said, you know, I, I hope they're enjoying this. He said, well, if they were giddy, they may not believe they could win. He said, they believe they're going to win. And, and I think that's, that was a great uh, – a great mindset that our team carried throughout the week. And I think games like NC State helped that happen because of the way we won. And to tie Kentucky in the rebounding and to have 14 offensive boards, that's, that's a victory in itself with, with what they're doing uh, on the backboards, and especially for the way they've handled the backboards on us the last couple of years. So our guys knew what it was going to take to win. We didn't always do it, but we had the ball last. Well, we did, and I only, I only was upset with him one time when he took a challenge three and, and he got a piece of it blocked because he, he, um, we knew that we had some matchup problems, but we also felt that they might have one with him. And, and, and he needed to be able to utilize it a lot of different ways. And you go back to last year, he's one of our best three-point shooters. And, and when it became harder for Jordan last year, after Verdell was out a little bit and after we lost Mo, Christian continued to make, make three-point shots. So a Christian's game, I'll look back on it in film and, and – he made plays at the rim, he made plays in the pull-up, he made plays in the post, he made plays on the glass, and he made four threes. So to have a – you can't win games like this without your best players, you know, really bringing it, and he did. Well, I think it's mindset, and, and I think that's, that that's going to be the key to Christian's growth, the whole team's growth, because, because the job – Job number one outside of getting back on defense was how we played Davis and Jones. And we had to be physical. We couldn't allow that team to float. And, I mean, they lead the country in so many things. Lobs is, are, are one of them. And, and we just couldn't let that happen. And it happened a couple times. We made a mistake early. Cody made a mistake on a ball screen. And they got the lob for Jones. And, and when we were locked into our game plan, we made it tougher for them to score. Obviously, we didn't guard the dribble very well. And, and uh, we could have gone zone. But uh, our guys believed in themselves. They believed in their team defense. And uh, even though it wasn't always very good at the end, you know, you, you don't want them questioning, can they win the game? And, and, and I think that had a lot to do with the presence of mind to, to make the plays they made at the end. Uh, Derek just had a rough week. He, he, he hurt his back a little bit, and he was cleared. He practiced a, a little bit Thursday, more yesterday. But it just became a coach's decision. It wasn't anything against him. He was healthy enough to play. He'll play next week. Uh, we just want to continue to get him 
healthy. If this was not how I would have drawn it up in, in our game plan, knowing that we weren't going to go to the bench very much. I was ready to play Austin. I was ready to play Remy. Um, it just didn't work out that way. So it was no offense to anybody. Get the best shot. We we never we never talked about that that part of it, and we we just wanted to get the best shot. Pat. Well, I, I I thought it was good. I mean, so I would have been like stunned if it wasn't. But again, you know, not going to get giddy and joyful and and have a letdown. But uh, uh, I have no idea how we'd have got that game finished if it wasn't. So. <laughs> But, but uh, it was good. It, it's, I, the, the one thing that, that, it, that I did at the end after, after going around the court a little bit, finding my family, seeing some people in the back, hugging the, the players, is, is really take about two minutes and watch it. And, and uh, I had a picture when I was back, in, uh, back at Michigan State as a graduate assistant. And I was there in 90, 89, 90. And we won a Big Ten championship. And the picture... It showed Tom standing back while everybody was celebrating the game, and I always thought that was the coolest thing. And, and uh, uh, sometimes there's been there's been whether at Marquette or here with it with, when they erupt on the crowd, you never kind of you see pictures, but you never like take it in. I took about two minutes to make sure I took it in. Coach, yes, sir. Well, I think it. I, I think it means that we're back in the hunt on it, and and it hasn't been much of a rivalry the last couple of years. Though we were we were close for 35, 36 minutes last year, but I, I think it's a hypothetical to me. I, I don't know why this game would go anywhere. I mean, it's 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 great for everybody, and and uh, uh, his team can measure themselves against us today. We can certainly measure ourselves. I mean, they're the standard of college basketball. I mean, you, you, they really are. I mean, I don't care who's out there with you. Got that kind of talent. That kind of explosiveness, um, the way that they play, as hard as they play. When I saw somebody had written that, that they had only that one team had shot 38 percent against them, and it was Carolina last week. That's not the kind of stat you're bringing to your team, you know. I mean, they're really, really good, and and we had to have a great effort to beat them. And 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 I uh, I, I don't know why this game would go anywhere. So I don't even really think about it much more than that.